G'day. We're going to have a look into Dell's latest keyboard offering, which is the Dell Wide Collaboration Keyboard. This is the KB. 525C. Now it's aimed for businesses or even for school and as the name suggests it's got collaboration it's built in collaboration keys on the top right hand corner that is the main difference there and it does support Zoom or Microsoft Teams. Now there is a gotcha me there it's not the moment since the support for work or school accounts and this is more because of Microsoft more than actually Dell later on you actually figure out why and there's also reprogrammable function keys or media keys at the top so you can actually customize and being a 2024 keyboard we also got the co-pilot key next to the right control. Now I'd definitely love to hear what your thoughts of this Copilot key, do you actually use it? Do you find it you know, or could be replaced with something else? I definitely love to hear your thoughts. Put a comment below. Now, this is a wired keyboard, which means it is a USB keyboard. Now, it is still got that standard length of 1.8 meters in length for the USB, and it's a USB C, and it comes with. Uh, USB-C to USB-A dongle or adapter. So that's nice, you can use any of those too. When you are in video conference, the collaboration keys will automatically light themselves and activate themselves. Now, the top right hand corner is the microphone. So I've just pressed and now you'll see go red. Now that means I mute my microphone and it's very simple to unmute. I really love the fact that it, microphones is on the top right hand corner because I can actually quickly easily feel the the edge of the keyboard and just press it and even though you can do this by mouse but just the keyboard just feel that really quickly and not have to take my eyes off the screen when I'm in uh, Teams or Zoom meeting. So I really love the fact that it's the microphone's on the top right hand corner. We also have the chat, the show chat and turn off chat. We've got share my screen and then we've got the camera. So at the moment the camera is turned on. I can now turn off the camera by seeing it go red. And then now I've actually mute myself. Now I've turned the camera back on. We've got three keyboards here. We've got the KB525C keyboard. We've got the KB216. This is typically the keyboard that Dell likes to bundle with their desktop computers and you find a lot of businesses have, who run Dell computers will have this as their most basic keyboard. This is the workhorse keyboard or is what I call it. And then we got the KB636. Now this is a wireless combo. And as for the key sound, I'm just gonna give it a bit of a type so you can hear it. So as you can see, the actual 525C is much quieter. And also as for the feel of the keys, they all have the same key travel and the recoil is still very similar, but it's actually how the pressing feels like. Now this has very hard press to it and a quick recoil. This has the 525C does have a much more smushier, more soft, feeling keys to them as you push them down. They recall just as fast, but they're just much more soft in feel wise. And so they're, if you're after a quiet and also a soft keyboard, the 525 is fantastic for that. To customize the keys, you do need to install the Dell Peripheral Manager. So we're gonna have a quick look at that right now. So at the moment we can actually see on the this tab here where it says collaboration, you can turn on and off these functions, which I don't know why you would do that, but in case you might not actually use the chat, so if you don't accidentally hit it, you can turn it off. Now you can also have a blinking effect uh, if you want, so you can actually see the chat's got something new, it will have a blinking effect, and you can also make the collaboration keys, you have to press it twice or double tap to actually activate those buttons. Now to customize the other functions or media keys, you can just select it, and then you actually have some assignable actions that you can do. So you can either do some keystrokes or you can actually do some of the other productivity actions. They've actually got them all listed here that you can do. And also there's through it. I'm just gonna try and see if I can scroll a little bit slower for you so you can actually see this. And then there's also media keys as that explains pretty easy to work out. But you can actually sign these on any of these top row keys here. Now we have a look at the setting that you need to enable in Microsoft Teams for the collaboration keys to work. So first go to the top right hand corner where your avatar is, click on the triple dots next to it, and then go to settings. In settings here, you go to the privacy tab, and if you just scroll all the way down to of this window here on the privacy, there'll be one called the third party app API. Click on manage API, and now this function here is disabled by default i've enabled it because i've already got this thing set up but you need to switch it so it enables now 
on the very first next team meeting it will also pop up um, allow or block for the Dell peripheral manager I'll make sure that is allow for the collaboration keys to work hope you find this video informative and enjoyed it if you didn't even support my channel smash that like button for me and share this video it does help me out and as always imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting and I'll see you next video